Johnson. All right, what's up everybody? It is now 4.49 p.m. Not gonna let that focus so I can see that there. One meal a day today, day one. I feel like this is gonna help a lot of people. And anyway, basically I'm bulking, so you can expect these videos anywhere from one to four times a month. Uh, there's just a super bunch of health benefits to one meal a day. Um, and since I'm bulking, I stopped doing one meal a day. I made a whole video on that here. Basically, it's the least optimal way to gain mass and build muscle and all that stuff. So that's why I stopped doing it, but there's still tons of health benefits to just doing it once a week. It's super, super, super healthy for you. That's why I'm either gonna be doing it once a week or I might just do it once a month. It just kind of depends. I really wanna to try to grow. Um, and doing the one meal a day, you know, that's making me be in a deficit. for uh, Probably a big deficit, depending on how hard I go. Don't have anything super, super planned out, but I'm just gonna keep showing y'all what I got, and then at the end, I'll show y'all the total calories, total fats, carbs, proteins, all that good stuff. Y'all just saw that what we're starting out with is Chipotle. I just went to Florence and got a new camera. Um, this is the 5100, or 50, Alpha 5000, Sony Alpha 5000. I'm filming on the 5100 right now. The lens broke on that one. Anyway, to get to the point of view, uh, this is what I'm starting out with here. Again, I'm not gonna tell you all the calories. This is six shells. I'm not gonna tell you all the calories and everything right now. This will make the video too long. But I'm just gonna keep showing y'all everything I'm eating. And I'm just coming back every time, you know, I'm gonna eat this, finish it. Um, by the way, I spent like $2.59 on all this food you just saw here. Kind of like Chipotle hacks and the shells were actually free on it. Anyway, getting into it, this one I'm diving into first. See y'all at the next check-in, next thing I'm gonna be eating. I'm also gonna be doing a lot of these one meal a day videos uh, out eating. You know what I'm saying? I'll just save my one meal, go out to like IHOP, uh, Golden Corral maybe, just anywhere. I'm just gonna start going out and kind of showing y'all some ideas how that would look if I'm eating out as well. And I'll start, I'll keep doing some as eating in as well. So this video, if y'all are stoked for this, um, some of my most views videos are about the one meal a day videos. I have a whole playlist on one meal a day slash fasting. You can check that out here. Go ahead and hit the video a thumbs up if you're stoked about it. And if the video helps you, please hit the thumbs up again. Like, comment, share, subscribe as always. I appreciate, I really appreciate everybody who's been doing that. I love y'all so much. All right, I'm not gonna hold the video up anymore. Let's get into it. All right, also want to mention I'm putting organic rosemary on or in the tacos I'm making. You know, I put the rice, for my opinion, rice first, chicken second is better than chicken first, rice second. I've tried both, just trust me on that. Uh, try it if you don't believe me, but organic rosemary on top of there. I always eat, if I have it at my disposal, uh, organic rosemary with any meat I eat just to protect from any kind of uh, carcinogens if it's overcooked or anything and just protect from any harmful effects that meat may have on the body. So super, super, super healthy, anti-inflammatory, anti-aging for you. Just start to throw that in there. And then I also want to say, you'll notice since I am bulking here, I am sacrificing a little bit of healthy foods as I would normally eat. Like I would normally not eat shells because that's not up to my healthy standards, you know, like a normal day eating. But like I said, I'm bulking, so I want to try to get in more calories to make the dent less. So, and honestly, it's probably really not that unhealthy at all, but still to my standards, I wouldn't normally have it. But it's not really unhealthy and it's more calories. I got some other things I'm throwing in as well like that to get in extra calories that aren't really that bad for me but i normally wouldn't be eating under normal normal circumstances i have a video here on rosemary if you want to check that out all right next thing after that is going to be 30 grams organic spring mix that's lettuce and spinach and then 29 grams of organic carrots also if you want to see how the diet looked when i was doing one meal a day every day Check it out here. I think I did it for like around eight months or so. And I'm gonna be doing a full day of eating soon, or what I look like. You know, I have, I'm actually only eat two meals a day, but what that actually looks like. Next on the plate is 252 grams of red seedless grapes. Uh, the organic ones have been out of where well, I haven't been able to buy them for the longest time now, so I hadn't really been eating any red grapes. Uh, but I'm not, I don't really think the reason I got them is. 
there's like a certain like a dirty dozen of fruits and vegetables that you want to always buy organic and i don't think grapes is is one of those i need to do a little more research on that but it's just been so long since i had them and i know i was doing one meal a day today just slam a ton of grapes just wanted to get that flavor i absolutely love grapes anyway that's the next thing on the menu always make sure you're getting your micronutrients in when you're doing one meal a day all right next is some haagen -Dazs vanilla ice cream again i would not normally do this but since it's one meal a day i just want to throw this in there to get the ec extra calories in there actually and i should have actually went with the halo top the calories were just significantly less but the reason i wasn't really paying attention how much fat was in this but the ingredients in this were actually pretty darn healthy even i think better more healthy so than the halo top and that's why i went with this so i'm not sure uh, one serving is 230 calories. There's 3.5 servings. I don't know if I'm gonna do all of it or uh, a couple servings or not yet. I'll let y'all know in just a second. All right, I went with 2.822 servings of the ice cream and I kind of had to let it melt a little bit. I had it in the refrigerator, so I don't even actually need to add any milk to it. Honestly, drinking it, now it, it does taste good, but honestly, like it doesn't appetize me like once you eat super healthy for so long and you just constantly eat healthier and healthier and healthier and healthier, you're basically plainer and plainer and plainer. Stuff like this and cakes and junk food just really doesn't, it doesn't excite me whatsoever. Like this, like there's nothing in my brain that craves any kind of junk food. Again, I'm just doing this purely for the calories since it's on this day. I probably won't do this again on milkshake on status because I'm already like, kind of like, uh. I could have maybe did something better, but hey, it's all a journey, everything's a journey, and this is, you know, I hadn't done a one meal a day in a long, long time, and I'm bulking, so, you know, it'll evolve as I do it here, but I just wanted to share it with y'all as well. Again, I got something else cooking, I'll show y'all what else that is after I finish up this. Even though I am trying to get, you know, more calories in, I also don't want that much fat, so that's why I didn't eat all of it, there's like, I don't want my basic proportions to be way out of fat. I don't want to do that much fat in a meal. I don't like to go over, I don't like to go over 30% in my fat intake. And once I hit that upper limit, that's like something's really off of my diet, something's really different, AKA this, or if I'm eating out and eat something else that's really, really high fat that day or something. Normally it's never, normally it's like 25% and under. Next is one serving here of these organic medium shells. Now one thing I like about these, uh, only ingredient is organic wheat. This is semolina or whatever, that's a wheat. So one serving of those, about to go down. It's weird, I actually just now kind of get hunger pangs. It's kind of weird. Um, I don't know how far I'm gonna push it in this one meal. You know, I said earlier, I don't wanna keep the dent small, but at the same time, damn, this looks dark. At the same time, since I'm bulking, I'm eating so much more food. And like just force feeding myself really isn't even a problem at all. Like it's normal sometimes. Um, I eat regardless if I'm hungry or not. And that's the same way we should do one meal a day back when I was doing it every day. I have a certain amount of calories I eat and I eat those calories no matter what, no matter how many meals I have. I hit those calories, I hit those protein requirements as well. Um, which today I'm not doing the protein requirement just because I'm doing one meal a day, like I said, every one, one, one to four times every month, basically. Um, but I don't know how far I'm gonna push it. I don't wanna get, uh, I just wanna kinda reap the benefits of it. I don't wanna try to slam too, too much. I wanna make it enjoyable just because it is once a week, maybe once every two weeks, three weeks, four weeks, however many times. Anyway, about the end of this. All right, everybody, I'm ending it here just shy of 2000 calories after i let my food set a little bit while i was thinking about other stuff and i was chewing that spaghetti noodles a lot more that's why it's super crucial to chew a lot because if you just throw down food like crazy you end up packing a lot more food in you don't realize you're full fast enough like if you chew a lot more this is why it's good to like help you you know keep weight off basically not overeat because the more you chew it gives your body time to let you know that you're full and you don't have to eat as much rather than slamming in. There's, I've actually seen or heard about studies where people, basically the faster people eat, uh, normally the more that they body fat they have, the more that way. 
So in and up here, I could easily, honestly, if I really wanted to, slam a good bit more food, but I'm pretty happy with how I feel full wise. And I think I'll be fine, you know, for the rest of the day. That's why I did it a little bit later in the afternoon like this. Um, no good, decent amount of protein, half what I normally get, what is what I heard about like a, this one you're talking about one meal a day, and but on the Ben Greenfield Fitness Podcast, I hadn't listened to it a long time, I used to listen to it all the time. I, I kind of go through breaks and periods where I listen to it some and where I don't listen to it at all. Or I listen to it a lot and I don't listen to it at all. But he was saying that was actually, there's a lot of health benefits just to having a, like a, a couple days a week or just one day a week doing low protein, like a, a 0.5 grams per pound of body weight. That's pretty much exactly what I did. So I'm happy with the fullness with the micro records I got in. Only if you would say regret thing I wish I would do differently would be not have the ice cream. Even like I said, really the ingredients really weren't unhealthy. It's just, I just don't like eating unhealthy basically. I'm, I'm, I just, I don't like eating unhealthy. I just, that's, I mean, that's as far as deep as it goes. That's, that's just point blank period. So. Had the taco shells, six shells, 300. I'm gonna give you the breakdown of each one and I'll give you the breakdown of everything. Uh, had hard taco shells, six of them, that's 300 calories. Uh, 4.6 ounces of that chicken, 207 calories. 8.2 ounces of rice, which is 430 calories from Chipotle. Seven grams, seven calories from the 30 grams of uh, spring mix. 12 calories from the 29 grams of carrots, 252 grams of grapes for 174 calories, two ounces of organic spaghetti for 210 calories, and the vanilla ice cream from Haagen-Dazs for 649 calories for a total of 1,989 calories. And we're looking at uh, 74 grams of fat, 266 grams of carbs. Gotta keep, gotta keep, gotta keep them muscles full. Gotta keep them muscles full. And 69 grams of protein, which I've normally been getting 170, which is like 0 0.8, 0 0.18, 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 1, 1, point, like 0 0.8, 0 0.81, or point. 82 which has been studied to show that's as much as you need and I'm bulking so I could even probably get away with a little bit less I've even heard of people cutting on a little bit less protein and being 100% fine So I'm 100% happy with that. I hope this helps y'all. Hope y'all can get something out of this positive Even if it's just entertainment. I'm gonna see y'all in the next one Stay happy stay healthy go make y'all some gains uh, like I said, you can be if you really enjoy this again. You can check out my playlist. If I pop that up, the whole one meal a day fasting playlist, and stay on the lookout again. I'll probably be doing this either once a week or, like I said, one to four times a month. So it could be every week, it could be every other week, it could just be once out of a month, just depending what I feel like, how my bolt is progressing. If I feel like I, you know, if I want to take that hit in calories and whatnot. Anyway, and if it gets good response, then I'll probably do more of them more. Frequently. Anyway, that's it for the video. Hope this helps. If you got any kind of questions during one meal a day? I've, I've did it for a long period of time, for like eight months or so. Learned a lot. I got you know. Check out that playlist. I've you know made some really helpful videos on there through like through my experience with it. That's it for the video, people. Appreciate it. See y'all in the next one. Like I said, if you have any comments though, you can comment down below. I'll get back at you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all the support again. See you in the next one.